guys and welcome to my channel it's a girl helen so i make videos on my nursing journey and i share my nursing journey with you guys every time i do i share it here on youtube so that people can learn and people can follow me and also we can encourage each other okay so uh it's been like i made a video and uh i hope i you haven't waited for me that long meanwhile if you haven't subscribed to my channel please make sure to subscribe and also if you're uh i mean i hope you uh, if you're a new subscriber i hope you like this video enough to uh, be able to check to subscribe to my channel and please make sure to check out all my other videos i have been super busy so busy that i haven't had time to even study let alone make a youtube video so uh the my recent placement was uh this video just to share my recent placement it's my stories my experiences of my recent placement with you guys and my recent placement was in the maternity ward uh, at the maternity ward at the college version of instruction here in germany and uh it just uh never mind my hand movement so guys uh it was lots of work like it's not it contains a lot it's not like the that you think it's not like you think it is so um, i'm gonna be sharing one of some of my difficulties some of my challenges some of my good experiences in the station and what like basically what's expected to, to be done like, or what you can work what you can see what you can expect on the station so guys uh well uh, let me start with the challenges <laughs> so i'll start with the challenges like the difficult parts so the difficult part is that the einsatz was very short like really short it lasted for just two weeks and within these two weeks i have to pick up like learn a lot about the station about everyone like i have to do i have to learn a lot in in a, in a very short period of time so that is one of the challenges of this of working in this station so working at this working for two weeks means that i have to know where everything is how everything works like how they run at the station and to be honest it's, it's not my normal it's not my house it's not that the, the answers but not was not at my hospital so it was kind of difficult for me to adjust i mean learn to learn some things some of the things they do some of the way we do things at my hospital was quite different from what some of the things they did i'm saying was because this is the answer just ended yesterday which was the 14th of april hence i mean else i wouldn't be able to do this video honestly i do i'm doing this video because i am free today and that's why i'm able to do it so uh it was a very short one like i just mentioned so one of the challenges or the challenges is that i have to learn how to deal with babies guys i have i have cousins that i've held in my arms but it's different from having to take care of someone else's baby you know i've had cousins that were so tiny but i've never had to change their diapers or have to shower them or have to look at them observe them or do some things with them like measure their take their pulse or measure their blood pressure sorry yeah or measure their what's it called or measure their blood sugar so it's quite different from that <laughs> so uh and it was some kind of challenge for me like i couldn't handle little children, babies like having the babies cry like scream and i mean sometimes i as i got so confused that i didn't know what to do i didn't know how to handle the crying babies i mean these were especially worse at my first during my first week like I, I panicked so the baby cries and cries and cries and get it and i get into this confusion that i don't even know what to do like oh God. <laughs> and you know people who you wear in a uniform people expect it to be the professional and if you as a professional if you don't say that you're not a professional or that you're not a student I mean that you're not uh that you're a student people are not going to understand they're going to think that you're just inexperienced which i am but i mean they're not going to understand it that way like understand that you're still learning and that's why you are not i mean doing things the way they're expected to be done <laughs> i could go on and on about my experiences with them like there are tons of them but i cannot tell them here <laughs> So guys one of the other challenges i faced was having to face some curious moms like there were tons of curious moms who almost killed me with questions <laughs> and i actually expected uh i expected things like i didn't expect i didn't expect it on the first day but i didn't expect it that much like i just flimmed through 
through my, I just flipped through my textbook and said, okay, blah, 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 let me just have a, uh, a glimpse of what I should expect, like revise what I've been taught at school. Like it's been long, we thought we did something about kids, about babies in the school. Let me just revise, revise them a bit, just flip through them and see. So the next day I went to the hospital and I had these curious moms asking me questions, bombarding me with questions. I didn't know what to do, like shit. Some of them were so embarrassing, like, I was like, shit, I am the one, I am supposed to be a professional, I'm wearing the uniform and they don't know that, I, they don't, they cannot tell the difference. So, do you know what I did? I got back home, I had to study, like, real hard. I had to study, they, 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 I got some of them asking me questions about how do I breastfeed my baby, my baby, my breast is not pumping well, or my breast is hard, or there's no breast milk coming out. Uh, I had to do stuff like Stilberatung, Stilberatung means breastfeeding uh like as what um let's say advise someone on how to breastfeed or teach someone how to breastfeed i'm not a mom i've never breastfed a baby <laughs> but i had to go through my book i had to consult my textbook and i checked some of these things and it, it really helped me because i got to i mean within two weeks i within the first after the first week i was really really a novice but the, within this during the second week i got to build my confidence and get to answer some of be able to answer some of the questions that were thrown at me by some of these women because it's not just something that it's not just one person being there for a week no they come every day like every day everyone leaves and new people comes and new moms comes in and it happens like that every every day so guys it was not easy at all so guys one of the problems i faced there also was the workload the workload was too much like too much i don't want to use the f word here but i mean i'm just trying to describe how much it was like i had no time all i did was come back home sleep bath and sleep again eat wake up the next day and go to work which is not a life like I, even my during my three days i come back home all i want to do is just rest lay in bed just to rest just to get myself it was not easy so guys i mean i mean i mean that was this this the first challenge which was the the the, the shortness of the einsatz the shortness of the clinical placement and the workload they were these were most of the challenges almost of the biggest challenges i had really like it's not like it's not like the workload thing is not that much in the kinder in the adult crank and flagger box this one was way too much like this one was way too much in the sense that we had to care for the moms and the babies as well so it was not easy so guys i'm gonna switch to the uh now i'm gonna move to the better part of the isaacs so a good part of the isaacs a um, good part of the clinic placement is that i got to learn stuff some stuff about postnatal care like postnatal care about for babies and for the moms for the babies i got to learn so many things not just learn them like some of the ones i i learned from school i had to practicalize them like see how they've been done like know some things about babies about newborns and know some things about the moms what the mom should do after birth or what the baby should what how the baby should be treated after birth what what can be done so these are some of the things I learned how to be a new mom, and which have kind of gave me some insight or gave me gave me some I, and some idea about what I can do or how I can take care of myself as a mom. <laughs> anyway, let's not go there now. But anyway, I kind of got some of these ideas and some of these uh, tips about some things. I mean, how to do that, even if I don't take care of myself as a mom, but I can also take care of other people or give people some advice in relation to that. So, guys and uh i really appreciated that in one of the in this in this einsatz it just to give us uh and and how, how do i say that an insight on what kinder country plague is all about or what hebami is all about so another one is that i got to let i got to help some of these moms like one of them actually got me a chocolate like she gave me a gift the next day she was so happy that i helped her out like and i was so happy that i helped as well like i was so happy so she gave me, she dropped something for the station for me, for which I, I was very grateful. And I, it, showed that, it showed that I really helped her. Like this help, the fact that I rendered help to people really made me feel good. Like really made me feel good. And I was able to answer some of these questions, some of these curious questions that these women asked me. I was so proud of myself because 
nobody told me that and I had to learn most things myself like I said it was very very short clinical placement so and uh, it wasn't easy so and uh, another thing the last but not the least is that I got to learn about the hospital how other hospitals work like it was my first not my first time second time working outside my hospital but the difference is that the uh the, the first my the first time I worked out outside the hospital was not it was just an ambulance thing. I had to work in the ambulance, which was quite different from the hospital thing, it had nothing to do with the hospital. But this one is in a hospital, but a different hospital. So I got to know some of the things about the hospital, this very hospital and some of the way they work, which was different from us. And uh it also gave me uh an insight on what I should do or how I should move ahead because the next my next clinical placement is also an external one <laughs> my, my next clinical placement is an external one uh, it's gonna be an external one so and uh, I'm gonna give you guys an update and it also has it also has something to do with kids is it is a kinder what's it called it's a pediatra I'm gonna be working in the pediatry in the pediatry and uh, I'm gonna give you guys an update about that definitely so and the good thing about this one is that it's not gonna be a two weeks thing or a one week thing this one you're gonna laugh for a month and i'm just hope I'm, i mean i hope it to be the the work the workload will be lesser than this one than the last one and also that i will learn more things and i will get nice colleagues that will help me i mean that'll help teach me some stuff okay because one of the best things to have nice colleagues and uh i forgot to mention that the good thing, some of the good thing about this eyes that this clinical placement the last clinical placement was that I also there was this lady I worked with even though uh, she didn't understand German and I didn't understand but we we I mean she was a very she was very nice she helped me like we helped each other let me say that so and um, even though it was challenging working as a student but still it was worth it so guys uh, this is where I'm gonna come to the end of this video and uh, I'm gonna give you guys an update about my next uh, about my next clinical placement <laughs> wish me luck please so and um just if you're if you're watching my channel for the first time please make sure to subscribe and and i hope you liked this video enough to give it a thumbs up please do not give it a thumbs down please <laughs> so uh, if you're my subscriber or you're returning subscriber please make sure to subscribe as well and if you're my subscriber please make sure to like this video okay and then that's like my next video and i'm gonna make sure i make other videos like just like i have time i'm gonna make sure i make other videos uh other videos ahead of time like just so as so that i can post and not give that much time before i post another video so guys i'm gonna see you guys in my next video thanks for watching bye